Hi. We are here at the great Giant Rika Guest Salon, Giant Rika. Hi. Where are we right now? We are at the Plant Salon. The Plant Salon, wonderful. Owned by Nika Vaughn, who's an amazing black M plant owner. So. Wonderful. Yes. Black owned plant store right here at Augusta and Ashland. Well, let's step inside. Hello. So Jai, I'm looking for something maybe creepy crawly that I can hang up high. Yes. And uh, look, I, I saw a lot of plants here. This one here on the corner really caught my eye though. That's Ooh. very much what yeah. we're looking for. What is this plant? This is a rainbow fern. A here. rainbow fern. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, yeah, so it'll definitely give you that trail look. It's always key to ask somebody like, what sparks your attention? Like, yes. tell me one thing if I tell you what my aesthetic is. Yes. What are you going to enjoy in your home every single day when you wake up? Absolutely. And if this sparks your fancy, then let's look at this and see how we can meet the plant and the, man, the, plant, the plant can meet you. Meet the plant and the plant can meet me. Exactly. Well, hello, plant. Can I touch it? I guess you're yes, touching it, right? Oh, this is <laughs> it's so soft and lovely. And ferns will need to keep like their soil moist oh right so definitely be mindful of that can i touch the yeah. okay yeah it is a little moist isn't it mm -hmm. cool so just generally make sure that you keep it moist if you have it in an area where it can get some good uh, humidity mm -hmm. it's also a bonus mm -hmm. so just try not to like dry it out ultimately so like if I, if I had a humidifier as any good singer would I can just run it under the under the humidifier. Yeah, or close by just to kind of keep it in that range. So yeah, wonderful. Yeah. And it'll be singing like a soprano. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Is that your voice type? I'm a mezzo soprano. You're a mezzo. Mm -hmm. What kind of music do you like to sing? Ooh, lately, what have I been singing? No lie, I've been singing a lot of Jasmine Su Sullivan. Jasmine yes. Sullivan. You need to hurry and pick up your ooh. While I'm all cleaning. So good. Uh huh. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it? See in my eyes. So yes, there they are, <laughs> the eyeballs of Jairika Guest of Jai Plants. Jai, thank you so much for this consultation. I think I'm going to take this one with me too. What do you think? Yes, I think you should. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jairika. Would you yes. like to walk with me? Heck yeah, let's Where are we go. going now? We are going to the plant, uh, the plant here. The plant here. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. And I know we're here to talk about Jai Plants. Yeah. The growing plant consultation business. But <laughs> you're also a working actor in Chicago, right? I am. How, what was it like being nominated for a Jeff only maybe less than two oh, years ago and then working at Steppenwolf? Ooh, wow. Uh, you know, honestly, it was really exciting. Um, just because I felt like I was just kind of hitting the mark of like, or the press of like people knowing me in Chicago. Yes, yes. Yeah, but uh, playing Hester and working with Lord Tank was pretty awesome. So That's I wonderful. I'm sure you did. And how, how have you <laughs> been promoting yourself as a plant consultant? Yeah, so on my plant page, Jai Plants with a Z, I have honestly been able to get stories um, from people and ultimately continue to connect with people about like their experiences through plants and this pandemonia that we're in. So. Pandemonia, <laughs> Pandemi Lovato, yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> This is paragraph. <laughs> and I, uh, I hear you can do accents like a New York or a British Geordie and even a decent Louis Armstrong impression. Ah! Is that correct? <laughs> what did you hear that from? Yes, <laughs> I did. I, I this place. And we are coming up on the plant here. And you love this place, Jai? I do. I what do you love about this place? Love black people. Love it. Uh, this is a rubber tree or um, uh, just a ficus or fi ficus elastica. Oh, ficus. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. I like a ficus. Yeah. So they're generally pretty. They're a little easier to grow or take care of than um, the fiddle leaf. When they're more established, like this, as trees, they have a little stronger hardiness before they decide to just give up on you. I like this ficus. Yeah. He's quite pleasant. We may come back to him. Ooh. <laughs> I offer consultations mm -hmm. as well as um, rehab sometimes when people need their plants just to be like worked on and they need me to do it for them. Um, and yeah, plant dates when people are just like, hey, I really don't know what to buy, and I, but I really want green in my home. That's so fun. And you can schedule all that on your website, right? Yeah. Dye plants from your Instagram? <laughs> 
Yeah, they can schedule there, and the Calendly is where my bookings and appointments are. Perfect. Yeah, I got into plants really as I moved to Chicago and needed to kind of like create an oasis in Chicago because it was so cold mm. outside. Mm, mm, <laughs> that was the real truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jairika Guest out here for all of your plant needs, questions, consultations, and nursing. Thank you so much, Jairika. Elston, Amidia, these are all like, fake things. Yeah. Um, oh, it's something. We have our heading. That brings us to our final song of the day. Um, a song originally performed by the National, which means a lot to us because we all live in the same National. This song, Fake Empire. so much for, for coming out. Hey, Christy. Hello, Mom. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Carl, what they say about the guy on the shaker? Yeah. What uh, they, they say, say about the shaker? Guy? Guy. Say your guy. Now, did they notice yeah. I played three instruments in that last song? None of them well. How we doing over here, Holden? Great. What we got going on? We got, oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Yeah, one thing is done here and the other two are pretty close. Yeah. Well, you know, okay. Let's, let's clear the eating Let's clear the, let's clear the, uh, Oh yeah, bust it up. Okay, we are, dig we are digging in. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Don't eat that.
spicy Italian sausage with lemon and peas. Mm -hmm. And this is the wild mushroom with Parmesan and fried croutons. Ooh. Okay, Johnny, which, which gnocchi is your favorite? Probably this blue cheese guy, honestly. Yeah? Uh, you know, I'm a... Seems like the clear thing, right? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good, like, anything that's, like, saucy, gooey, you know? This saucy, and gooey. saucy and gooey. Heck yeah. I'm gonna try school. it too. Uh, but it's nice. Uh, it's gorgonzola from Italy. It's good. So, you know, it's good. It's good. Oh my god. So what 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 all is in this uh, blue cheese gnocchi? So I, I, it is really simple. It's just the sauce is just made from butter and the blue cheese. Just melt it really slowly. Mm -hmm. you know, a little salt and pepper, and then there's the homegrown pea shoots and oven roasted grape tomatoes. Nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. And that's a wrap on Holden. Thank All you. Right. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for your gnocchi. They were fabulous. Especially the blue cheese one. Yeah, blue, um, blue cheese was the, was the home run. This was a COVID special. Appreciate all of you guys. Uh, just real quick, we're going to do a little manifestation time. Just something you'd like to see in the near future that you would like to manifest. Uh, would anyone like to go first? I'll go first. For me, I always want to manifest more Live at the Treehouse, more collaboration, and making people hungry and happy. And remember, art is cheap, but it's not free. So please, nice. if you watch the episode, uh, send us a couple bucks. Uh, the artists are paid. The uh, If they're semi-professional, they're paid. The chefs are paid. Uh, <laughs> and um, we want to create a, a real professional show for you guys so i want to manifest more work like this and more collaboration and more uh in investing in the like right and the grapes are kind of great shape. And smaller okay i guess that's the difference flavor though probably just different varieties flavor yeah i mean i prefer grape tomatoes i always find cherry tomatoes in the salad to be like a little much mm, okay but grape tomatoes they got that subtle well yeah maybe it's just because they're smaller i think it's a texture thing sure 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 oh well it's just my opinion yeah is there dairy in the gnocchi? Mm. What you call it? Like a potato? Is potato always just kind of actually, pairs can, with dairy, does it? But um, no, actually. You can make it with leftover mashed potatoes that already have dairy in it, but mm -hmm. in this case, I just made plain mashed potatoes, literally just the potato. So, mm -hmm. no, there's actually no dairy in And not in the flour either? No, you can oh. add cheese too, but I didn't. It's so, dairy free guy right there. Dairy free guy right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh. Or at least easily could be. Yes. Yeah. No, no, this one is. It's, I think right. it just is. Could we make this one vegetarian for somebody? No. Okay. Get pick. Get that one. Uh -huh. for vegetarian. Well, or that one. Sure. They're both vegetarian. But we can't. Can we make these dairy free for somebody? Mm, no. Really tarnishes the integrity of the dish. Yeah. You know, for all the dairy free vegetarians. Well, the parmesan. Cheese, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For my dairy free peeps out there. What else do you grow? Uh, mostly <laughs> nothing I can say on camera. <laughs> 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 a little bit of everything, vegetables, a lot of mostly greens and stuff. greens and salad stuff and herbs, yeah, mainly. But a little bit of other, other stuff too. But trying to get a raspberry bush to grow. Oh yeah. Ours, yeah. Those are weird. They they're like some of them are every other year, so you might think it failed, but you keep trying. Hey, John. Is it on your foot? It's not on your foot. No. I'll eat it. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. This is really good.